Meghan Markle won't set foot in the UK ever again despite Prince Harry's hopes for May. According to a royal specialist, Meghan Markle is believed to have already made up her mind during a trip to the UK in May, and it doesn't look good. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. If you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss any news about the British monarchy. Beginning in May, the Duke of Sussex will travel back to his own country to take part in a commemorative event marking the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. Meghan's attendance at the special service at St. Paul's Cathedral on May 8 is yet to be confirmed, but it is part of his scheduled tour. Bringing her pleasant American charm to proceedings, Meghan is always by Harry's side during Invictus events, holding his hand, waving to crowds, and giving participants hugs. However, Harry might have to travel alone to the upcoming international multi-sport competition for ill, injured, and wounded service members, which was first held in 2014. Meghan won't set foot in the UK again, in Charles Ray's opinion, the former royal correspondent for The Sun stated. It seems like she doesn't want her involved in this country at all. Ray claimed to have seen Meghan loving her role as a member of the royal family at first, but she later altered her views. I doubt that she was aware of the royal family's social hierarchy. There you have the Prince of Wales and the monarch. Everyone else falls under the category that she aspired to be the star, and I believe it was that easy for her to believe she simply packed up her toys and made the decision to travel to America. Prince Harry, meantime, is rumoured to be experiencing sleepless nights in anticipation of his trip to the UK early next month. Harry and Meghan are having sleepless nights about what they should do when Harry visits the UK later this year, he will have to do something to acknowledge the huge difficulties his family is going through, but he won't want to do or say anything that seems to imply anything less than wholehearted support for his permanently aggrieved wife, Tom Quinn, a royal expert and author, told us. When Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet were diagnosed with cancer, Meghan stayed in Montecito, California, while Harry travelled to the UK to speak with his father, King Charles. It is believed that she will postpone her trip to the UK for another time next month. In terms of Meghan Markle, Prince Harry, and Kate Middleton, they are at a turning point that, if ignored, could have long-term effects. In a piece for the Daily Mail, Renowned royal analyst Richard Eden emphasizes how important it is for the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to get in touch with the Princess of Wales, who is now battling an unnamed type of cancer. It's been said that Meghan and Harry were surprised by the disclosure of Kate's health problems, which were first made public last week. They were not notified prior to the news breaking. This action, as Eden notes, emphasizes how completely divided the Sussexes are from the senior royals, highlighting the enormous chasm that has built over time between them. Kate, as usual, said nothing in public, no matter how much pain she was going through in private following the remarks made across the Atlantic, Eden said in a letter. But, the Sussexes must acknowledge the hurt and damage they have caused before that can happen. They should then apologize and beg forgiveness from Catherine and her husband, who deserve nothing less, the royal expert went on. Eden compares this to previous incidents in which the couple was purportedly informed far in advance of significant events, including when they were informed of significant family concerns roughly 1.5 hours prior to the content being shown. This historical level of transparency and confidence highlights the divide that has gotten bigger over time by standing in stark contrast to the current circumstances. Meghan, Harry, and Kate had a tight friendship before their breakup, which was evident at royal events and in public. However, as Meghan became a member of the royal family, everything drastically changed, and tensions and disputes between the two couples grew. The Sussexes' decision to step down from their royal responsibilities in 2020 and their subsequent disclosure of their experiences as family members further damaged these relationships. Through interviews, a documentary series, and Harry's memoir, the pair has been able to voice their grievances, including claims that they have been treated unfairly by the royal family. Notably, Omid Scobie, 
Meghan and Harry's preferred biographer, rose to the allegation that Kate had expressed concerns about Archie's skin tone before his birth. Furthermore, Meghan claimed that Kate had emotionally assaulted her in the days before up to her wedding in a widely publicized 2021 interview with Oprah Winfrey. Eden notes that despite their strained relationship, after Kate's illness was discovered, there were an increasing number of pleas for the two spouses to reconcile. Situations like this emphasize the importance of family ties and support during difficult times. They also present an opportunity for healing and potentially mending the rift. The way things are going demonstrates how complex the royal family's dynamics are and how reconciliation is possible even in the face of adversity.